What is going on guys, Joel here, back with another one. And if you're running the iOS 13 beta, you'll be happy to know that there is now a new beta, beta three, for developers if you are running the developers beta. But if you're on the public beta, you might have to wait a few extra days, maybe a week. But this week, Apple released beta three, and it has some updated bug fixes and some slight changes here and there. And that's what we're gonna take a look at in this video today. Now I did release a video covering new features for beta two, but this video is basically gonna cover both beta two features and also the new beta three bug fixes and features as well. Now, if you haven't checked out what is new with iOS 13, I did make a video showing you all the new features that are coming out with iOS 13, or at least some of my favorite ones. And I'll leave that video link down below in the description, that way you can check it out. But let's go ahead and check out what's new with beta three. So the device here on my left is going to be running beta two, and then the one on the right is going to be running beta three. That way we can kind of see some of the differences from beta two to beta three. Now, one of the new features I noticed is, I, I don't know if this was a bug, but in beta two, whenever you do the new volume HUD, which normally showed here on the left-hand side, it would sometimes show it up here. And this is where you would normally see when you flip the vibrate switch on and off. But this was a really big deal with iOS 13 in the first beta, there was a new volume HUD, but now it seems that iOS 13 is probably just gonna have it up here, which is still great, cause it's kind of out of the way. I've noticed it when you open up stock apps, it's in there. As you see here, when you turn it up and down, you have that little volume HUD there instead of it being on the left-hand side. Now there are third-party apps, like for example, Tweetbot. This one shows it here, but I've noticed other apps. Let me go ahead and open up, let's say, Twitter here, but when you open something like this, it's still right here on the left-hand side. This was what was new in the original beta, but now it seems like it's gonna be moving up here. I actually like that. And then when you turn on and off the vibrate switch, that also uh, gives you that little bell right there. So I kind of like that better than the little volume HUD on the left-hand side but it seems to be now working fully in beta three with at least all the stock iOS apps and some third party apps. Now, another thing with iOS 13 beta three is when you take a screenshot and you go ahead and edit that screenshot. One difference is that you now have a little icon for the opacity. Cause as you know, on beta two, actually you could change the opacity as well. That's actually a new feature on beta two, but now on beta three, it has a little icon there, but that's one difference. Now next, if we go ahead and delete this, it's gonna be FaceTime. So FaceTime now, when you go into FaceTime settings in the settings app, you now have this new FaceTime attention correction. I haven't had a chance to check this out or try this out, but from the looks of it and what I've read up on it, is that now whenever you do a FaceTime call, normally you would have to actually look directly into the camera in order for you to make it seem like you're actually looking directly to the other person or at the other person when you're on the FaceTime call. But now with this option selected, you can be looking directly at the screen or at the person's face here instead of looking at the uh, actual camera and it'll still look like you're looking at the camera. So they've done some software tricks and makes your pupils, I guess, look like it's looking directly at the camera, which is kind of cool and kind of weird, but um, that's a new setting there. Uh, let me know if you've tried that out and if it's working for you. Now, something else I've noticed is when you open up the app store, now here in the arcade tab, which I'm still not a fan of, I wish they still had the updates all or the updates tab there. Um, but now when you go in here, it normally would show this arcade little visual here, but now you actually get more of an idea of what Apple Arcade is supposed to be. So this is coming later in the fall. So that is the new little update on beta three. And also it looks like you can select your icon here, but here, whenever you open this, uh, you do have the updates all button here, which was kind of a hassle that you had to go in there. But now you notice when you 
do a 3D touch or haptic touch on the app store whenever you're on the home screen you can do update all on there now i don't know if that's a new feature i don't think i had it on beta 2 as le at least i don't at least i don't remember but let me know if that was a new feature on beta 2 or if it's something new on beta 3 you can now do haptic touch or 3d touch on on the app store and then update all apps now some new subtle changes in the mail app is when you swipe over to the left the archive button is it was blue but now you do get a purple archive button now some more subtle changes is in the settings where you have your apple id when you go here in beta 2 it looks like the icloud icon was removed by accident or purposely i don't know but now on the beta 3 and also it looks like subscriptions have been moved from down here to now up here at the top right below payment and shipping now something else i have noticed is in the emergency contacts if you have someone in your emergency contacts and you go to your contacts list while you're scrolling it now actually shows a little medical id icon right there next to your emergency contacts so before it didn't gives you more of an idea of where they're at in your contacts list or if someone's looking through it they can kind of see who is your emergency contacts if you are in an emergency and you grab their device and you need to contact somebody in their emergency contacts list now in the new find my app you now have a me tab which was actually right up here in the top right corner on beta 2 but now in beta 3 is now here at the bottom right now also when you are doing a shortcut in the shortcuts app you will notice that when you add an action when you're creating a new shortcut and you add a new app the apps are now listed in this style now i like that better because now it's one less step you can just select the app that you want and then go from there do something else here you have to open the app go back in here select the app and yeah so i like it better in the new way on beta 3 hopefully that stays now those are some of the new changes or at least subtle changes to beta 3 going forward there might not be many more changes basically what we're seeing now is kind of going to be what's final in the final version in, a, in about two months from now now something i noticed when using beta 2 in the past few weeks and it's still available in beta 3 which i hope it sticks and stays but whenever you actually like a text message or photo in iMessage, it now has a little sound to it. So if I do this again, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm actually put the phone next to the microphone here so you can hear it. But those are some of the new sounds whenever someone likes, dislikes, or uh, hearts your message in iMessage. Also with beta 2 and now beta 3, it's still there, is the new uh, stickers in the Memoji stickers little tab here. So whenever you go down here, there's new stickers as you see there. Um, there's four, I believe it was this one with the crossing fingers and then the one to be quiet and a few others um, but it does also look like the uh, angry face got a little different if you look closely as you see there but those are some of the new changes to beta 3 slash beta 2 now there's many more changes that have been available in beta 2 and also beta 3 probably things that are very very minimal but like I mentioned earlier, there's not going to be much more that's going to be new to iOS 13 in the following betas. They're just going to be refining the software and, and make it less buggy because it's still buggy here and there. 
but it might be time for me to actually install iOS 13 beta onto my main device because these are not my main devices. Uh, I've just been trying it out on other devices that I have here because on my iPhone XS Max, which is what I use right now as my main device, it is jailbroken. And I've been kind of waiting because I do not want to lose the jailbreak, but it might be that time when I just pull the trigger and install it on my XS Max. But let me know what you think about iOS 13 so far. Have you been running the developer beta or the public beta? As I said earlier, also that public beta will be out here shortly in the next few days, probably in a week, uh, but it's usually out a few days after the developer beta. But expect public beta 2 to be out very soon. Go ahead and follow me on social media and I'll probably post whenever that is available. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, let me know by hitting that like button as it not only shows me that you enjoyed it, but it also shows support to the channel. And if you're not following on social media yet, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. All those links will be down below. All those links will be down below in the description. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about iOS 13 and if you found any new features that you are really hyped about. But as always, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your support very much, and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.